I, I went through that grinding phase of like, I mopped the floor, proverbially, so to speak, and wasn't afraid of those shit deals. And I went after all of them, all mm -hmm. of them, and like cut my teeth for a but year. Even though you're going on, the main takeaway and point from this, cause I don't want anyone to fucking miss this because it's important. You were going after the shit deals, but you didn't really necessarily identify with those shit deals. So you wanted so much more, but yeah. you, were doing, you were putting in the fucking work that you have to do but, in the beginning and, and to give get there. And given inimitable service, yeah, right? Like you're exactly. a $1,500 mm -hmm. a month client. That's all you could afford. You're strapped for, I Might as well like be a, a million. billionaire. Mm -hmm. A, yeah, dude. You know, like it's still somebody's dream. Yep. It's still a place where people are gonna make love, have kids, have memories, be happy, sad. You know, like it's their home, dude. It's up there as far as in basic needs of humanities and shelter, number one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's like I found tremendous sensitivity and responsibility in providing that to people. So it was still providing service, right? Yep. So for those years, I grinded it out, but then I started to see like, I think I'm outgrowing this tank already. Yep. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm swinging with some of the big dogs in this firm already, and I shouldn't be. It's too soon. So I jumped ship, went to another shop, and like within a few months, I found myself like a $73.5 million listing. And I'm like, well, this is a change. But yep. God damn it, this is where we belong.